This is Bob Chambers, the Multimedia Guy, and in this video what we're going to be doing is showing you the magic wand. So let's click on that. As you can see, we have a project already open. So let's just take a look at the things on the magic wand. This first one allows you to open or delete the different projects. So you just click here and you can uh, uh, double click on it to open and you can close this right here and delete the project right here. So you can delete a page by choosing a page or you can choose the the actual folder and delete the whole thing. So let's just close that. The next one is to start a new project or you do that and you can see that the first thing it asks is the name for the project. You can put that in there. You can also use this create a project right here by clicking that. You get the same window. Let's go back to the magic wand. This one here uh, will make the play it software and you can go to the uh, video on the player and see how that works. You can record audio for this section. Just click here. You can see here's the recorder. We just click on the recorder and it starts recording and as soon as we're ready to stop it we click here and then we can decide to apply it or just cancel it. So I'm just going to cancel it. Let's continue on with uh, that is here we can load an audio for this screen and here you can see we have a, a audio here that we could load. Let's just load that and as soon as that's loaded you can see that when we go to the magic wand that we can play the audio for this section or we can remove the audio from this screen. So let's just click that and see here's the, that current audio that I just put in. Click that and we can get rid of it. And so then we can continue on. This one here is Ranger Play It Software Screens. Click on that. And here you can see the screens. We have three pages here. So I can take page two, use this up arrow to move it up to the top and I could take the home page here and move it down and so that's just that simple to rearrange your pages close that let's go back to the magic wand and here is choose action to run when the screen loads so this is a, an interesting one now let's just open that you can see the actions that we can load are in this drop down window and you'll find that most of them are the same well uh, they they are the same that are in the hotspot one so you can learn more about them by using the hotspots but this is an action that when this loads the program loads it would actually open something unique or do something unique like show a calendar it could open a text box with audio it could uh, execute a program on your PC. In other words, you could put a program in, play it, and then have it, the, the choice is to have it start that program. And so there's a whole bunch of these actions that you can use. And uh, to learn more about them, go to the uh, hotspot section. Let's just cancel that. And let's go back to the magic wand and move on down. This was the action that we could have. If we have set up an action then we can, you can't see these because they're grayed out right now, but this one removes the action item and this allows you to edit the action item. So here is the set the screen page properties of the current screen. So let's click that and here you can see that you can auto play an audio by clicking there. So if you've recorded an audio for that page, you could auto click and, and play it. Uh, you can put a tick like a ticker tape at the bottom of the page and put in a URL like like this. You put that in and then you can change the description for the web button to uh, whatever you'd like that way then you won't run into a problem then you can put a text bar here this is a text bar and it will actually put the text bar all the way across and then you click here to show that text bar 
and the color of the text you can choose whatever color you'd like by uh, changing this and you can choose the background that will scroll uh, along the bottom of the screen you can put in a name for the table of contents right in here and choose it that way and then when you can also choose the, another this is another time when you can choose the action when that page loads you saw this one earlier so that's the step there the next step in the magic wand is we can also remove the those start actions that we created using this one here we can take an image and rotate it in both clockwise and counterclockwise when you do that you have flattened the the image so that you'll no longer be able to move things on the image itself we showed you how to add an image up here when we put the new up so this is where you find an image and add to a page an existing page continuing on you can mark an area to copy uh, copy that marked area uh, to your clipboard and of course you can also paste it from that you can also duplicate it the biggest uh, probably the most important ones to remember is up in here the being able to arrange rearrange your pages to allow to run let's see if we can change that color run a unique element an action when we first load it and of course the next one is to really make a, a uh, play it software program and then we could this is probably the other one to remember is this one here opens up the screens so each of those are the important elements and of course the other one that we have here we'll go back to red again and we can use this one here so those are the elements that you to really think uh, to consider when you're using the magic wand